the other important um, place to come and have a look through is your theme options. And this is where you can actually change your logo, which is obviously what many people want to do right away. That's this logo up here on the top left. If you want to change that, you come and you upload, you click on the upload button and you can literally drag an image um, into this uh, space over here. Let me see if I can find an image quickly. Uh, grab another logo. I've only got a Redshift logo. <laughs> but uh, this one at least is not an animated one, so you'll be able to see the difference. Because um, currently I have, you can see that it, this is a, um, what do you call it, John? This file format, uh, this animated file format. I can't remember. GIF. GIF, that's it, animated GIF. All right, so changed it for um, um, a JPEG, a normal JPEG now. Um, just to run through these other settings here quickly, there's a fixed navigation bar is whether or not your navigation is going to float at the top of your website. Um, Divi Gallery, you should leave that on by default. These default color pickers will come up um, in, in the modules. So for example, if you've got a specific red, you can come in and put in the hex code here for that red and, and or whatever colors you're using. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just going to choose another green here so you can see that it does change. And then once you've got your colors set and saved, when you um, open up the modules and, and you get to the color selection, you'll have these as, as quick selection options. So it's very useful um, if you've got a color palette that you're working to. Uh, grab the first post image. That's only if, you, if you're doing a blog uh, blog style mode front page, which most people aren't doing. Uh, your sidebar, left, right, just the, these are just the default kind of settings for all of these things. There is a Google API key. If you want to put in your own API key, you're welcome to, or just use ours. That's fine. All of these icons are here, but you need to fill in the URLs for Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, if you want to use these. If you don't want to use these, obviously just switch them off. Um, either switch them off or just delete. If you delete this little hashtag here, then it won't actually show if there's no URL, right? Um, some more default settings. I'll let you guys go through all of these things. You will find that when you hover over anything, there is a little, um, a little help uh, pop up. And if you click on that, it'll, it'll give you a little bit more information about the actual uh, setting that you're looking at, right? And then, um, Importantly, there is a custom CSS box down the bottom where you can write custom CSS for your website as well. And, and also vital, if you make any kind of changes, don't forget that there will always be a save changes or an update button somewhere on the page. That's how WordPress works, okay? So it doesn't help to just make the change. You've actually got to save or update for those changes to happen, right? So the only change that we did was to change this from an animated GIF to well, as you can see now, my JPEG um, uh, logo is in the top there. Okay, so come and have a look through these settings in in um, in Divi, and uh, you're welcome to go through all the rest of them, navigation builder. But really, the general page is the only important settings that you need to worry about too much, and um, the rest of it is all correct as it correct and as it should be. Um, but you're welcome to obviously change anything you like. It is your website.